Ki nasıl? Robin Natchari. Diyorsan. Nasıl daha yeri seviyorsun? Valla o da da nazlı ki Sami diyor Sami. Sami diyor. Sami ne ki gari ki Natchi ko? Sami Natchi ko? Sami ne ki gari ki Natchi ko? Sami ne ki gari ki Natchi ko? Standing. One of the best feeling in the world is being recognized for your passion and for what you truly love to do. And hand on heart, I really worked hard to achieve this every single day by putting good content out there. In the hope that I can bring little joy and laughter and inspire my dear viewers through my videos. Hello everyone, what's up? It's me Sunak and um, today is my first YouTube channel. I don't remember much of my childhood. I was not that good in studies or anything. I was classed as one of the baddest students. Thus, I had to keep changing my schools. My memories of my younger days are quite blurred. However, since the time I got my dad's old footage of us, finally I feel aligned with my inner passion for what I love doing, and that is documenting my life. I'm not sure where this journey is gonna take me, but thanks for everyone believing and supporting me. Dear 2020, it's that time of the year to bid you goodbye. Am I the only one person who thinks this year went so fast? Anyways, lost the girl my. Twenty twenty was a hell of a ride. It was weird, scary, sad, confusing times where I experienced happiness, surprises, broken hearts and shed some tears. I've made some mistakes, suffered from anxiety and so on. This journey had made me a wiser person. I learned a lot. It made me stronger, gave me hope into becoming a better person every day. Hi! Yara. Lala. This year I feel like I have finally aligned with my inner soul, trusting myself fully on becoming a person who I have always wanted to become, my truest self. 2020 has been a hard year for all of us. At first, I did not believe in this virus, just because I couldn't grasp what was happening and so fast until reality hit when my husband tested positive and I could see him getting weak. It was hard to see him getting poorly I wasn't scared for him or anything because I had faith he would recover quickly. But I was worried that I could pass it to vulnerable elderly people at work including my colleagues. We followed the rules and isolated for more than 14 days and retested to make sure that we were all corona free. During that time, what amazed me was my husband's willpower and positivity which was admiring and very inspiring to see. Our beloved Bozu turned 70 and he too is free this year. He's becoming very cheeky and curious day by day but I love it. <laughs> oh my god. Have you guys also noticed he seemed to enjoy the camera too as much as I do. 
Well, he's my son after all, so I guess I should not sound that surprised. Despite the pandemic, in between the ease of lockdown, bought some chances to see my family and friends, which I am grateful for. I also got an opportunity to meet few similar-minded people and collaborate together. Of course, not to forget my dear Fashion Beauty Bhaktidi. Some of you subscribers who has been with us for years probably know we have always supported each other since day one. Dear Timmy, so called, call me Tim. She has always been so kind and super helpful towards me. If you did not know, we used to intern together in London. How can I forget those good times we had together? Now, seeing her thrive on Instagram, I feel so happy and proud for her. She deserves all the love, support and praise. Thank you each and every one of you who has always supported all of us Nepalese influencers. You go guys, especially mom influencers. Thank you so much. I wish I could get back my friendship with Deepa like how it was before. Nonetheless, had I not experienced, I wouldn't have or we both would not have become the person we are now. I admit my selfishness, but in my defense, I wanted inner peace. There were suppressed emotions, piles of lies and massive miscommunications. And at the end of the day, I wanted to be loyal with myself and with all of you my wonderful subscribers i just wanted to feel belonged and not mislead we plan to meet up someday and record an apology video together but as things stands not sure when that will be <laughs> we as a human being tend to judge each other so quickly and easily without even thinking and trying to fit in their shoes. I'm fairly guilty for that too. So I try my best to be unjudgmental. It's hard but surely it helps. It helps me to understand people and give them a chance. Relationship doesn't need to be perfect to make us feel or believe that the other person loves and cares the same way as you do. The important thing is that you and your family, friends or your partner feels the same way about one another and are willing to both put an effort whatever it takes to make things work. They should be honest, trustworthy, respectful and most of all are genuine. This experience has taught me a lot. A piece of advice to myself would be never let others to tell you what to do and what not to do. Allow yourself to learn, explore, have courage, grow, own up to your mistakes, say sorry and save yourself to be a good person. And most of all, never stop doing what you love doing. Be your own best friend and be kind to yourself keep supporting yourself because at the end of the day you are the only one person who can be there for yourself i hope it's not too late but i would like to sincerely apologize to everyone who i have hurt directly or indirectly i'm truly sorry again together let's all heal and forgive each other for our silly mistakes without holding any grudges on each other Finally, to those who has always supported me since day one, you guys are my pure gem, 100%. You know who you are. You guys rock and may God bless you all. I cannot thank you enough. I am forever grateful and I would love to keep uploading genuine simple videos in a hope that it makes you smile and spread positivity. 
may you all have the best future ahead cheers to a new beginning and wish you a very happy new year thank you so much for supporting me and watching all of my videos without skipping Tatalaira. see you all in my next vlogs till then take care and stay safe before 2020 ends, use the sound and post the first pic you took this year. A picture you think you look great in. A picture you think you look bad. A picture that's unnecessary in your phone. A picture at your happiest. A picture at your saddest. And the last picture you have in your phone.